sure how long I could sustain the effort without breaking in two. It seemed like the only thing holding my body together was my one desire. To be better than Kakarot. At times I thought I was losing my mind. Why couldn't I obtain what Kakarot had obtained? It didn't make sense. It was infuriating, and it was my fury that kept me alive. That's it! I don't care! I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Kakarot. I didn't care about being a Super Saiyan. I didn't care if I lived. I didn't care about anything. And then, it happened. Yes, that's how it happened. started coming down, but I was determined to survive and to protect my ship from destruction. It was my only way out, my only way off that nightmarish heap of rubble. I thought I had everything under control, but then the mother of all meteors seemed to appear out of nowhere to claim my ship and my life. Normally, it would have been child's play to blow up that rock, but after training in 450 times normal gravity for so long, it took everything I had, and more! 